Hi, I'm Leah Steenson. Sharon of the Miracle Network has asked me just to say a few words about my workshop, Be the Presence of Love, on Saturday the 18th of September, coming up soon. And I'm delighted to do that because this is uh, a theme that's very, very close to my heart because I can see how challenging it is for, for myself, for all of us, to actually apparently see a world that is full of darkness and pain and suffering of abuse and violence and so on and, and sickness and actually in the middle of all that still not judge, not condemn, not complain, not talk to others about how awful it is and to withdraw from that and become and be the presence of love. Our culture certainly doesn't uh, uh, encourage any kind of forgiveness for these things and we are in fact the opposite we, we're encouraged to condemn and if we're not walking about condemning this, these these dark things then we are very misunderstood but we're not going to worry too much about that because we are guided aren't we by the course which shows the way to really profound forgiveness which is about looking past what we see that's dark. It's not about looking at it and, and pardoning it. It's about choosing to lift our gaze to the light, the truth beyond the illusion of this world, of being at one with each other, with God, with living in love, joy and peace as the true nature of our being. So it's that, that decision. You know, we're looking at making that decision to to transcend any vision of darkness in our world and if you think about it if everybody chose only to see the light chose only to see the love nothing else could exist so perhaps that's how we could define where we're actually going before I say any more I just want to read a short piece from Paul Farini he's the most wonderful teacher of God it's called love's patient blessing Wherever you go, the love of God goes with you. It moves with your legs, reaches with your hands, speaks with your voice and sees with your eyes. Because of you, love goes forth into the world. Without you, it would be invisible. The love that expresses through you is the holy presence, the human vehicle ablaze with the divine light, the very embodiment God's love. You hear the call and you answer it by following this simple teaching. Whatever is not loving must be forgiven and what is forgiven becomes love's patient blessing on an imperfect world. Isn't that lovely? It's a bit of extra in, um, inspiration for us to feel that great dedication to being the presence of love. So on the day, we'll work through uh, sharing teachings, meditation, and really, self, really helpful self-inquiry to see how we can take another big leap forward uh, towards letting go of that ego desire. It's so deep and strong, isn't it, to judge and criticize. So we're going to see if we can move on a bit, just a little bit more. Um, and really get to understand what it might be to be the presence of love in this world. I'm going to read one more thing to you because this is very beautiful too. This is also Paul Farini, great teacher of God. And I'll, I'll just complete this little chat with, with, with this because it's I'm so in tune with that. I feel in reading it to you, you will know exactly what I'm trying to do. The more you give love, the more love you will attract. That is because you stay in the vibration of love by loving. You stay in the vibration of abundance by giving. You must learn to say yes to people's need for love and support. The more you do this, the less their behavior toward you will be motivated by fear. If you wish to dissolve violence, do not make the fearful more afraid. Communicate to them your love and support. Love redeems. Hatred condemns. 
You will never realize the power of love until you begin to exercise it fully in your life. Do not cast your enemies out of your heart, but learn to accept them there, and they will cease to be your enemies. All anyone wants is to be loved and accepted as they are. Give them that, and they will not be afraid. Give them that, and they will have no need to attack. It is time you understood that what you withhold from your sister, you withhold from yourself, for she is not separate from you. And only in recognizing the worthiness of your brother is your own confirmed. Simply be the presence of love in every moment. Blessings. And I look forward to seeing you on the 18th of September with all my love.